My name is Ian Carmel. Which is ridiculous because I am a six foot three, 300 pound Jewish man. And my name sounds like a whimsical British candy store. <laughs> this should not be Ian Carmel. My name should be like Shlomo Pudding Tits. Uh, <laughs> it should be Shlomo Pudding Tits or it should just be like Ham Hock. That's the whole thing. <laughs> and my entire comedy act is just me coming out on stage and going, better put some butter on it and then leaving and just take off. I feel like the name Ian doesn't fit me at all. When your name is Ian, you get invited to art walks and shit like that. I don't ever want to go to an art walk. I don't like either of those things. I wish I could change my name, but it's too late because my middle name fits me way better than my first name. I wish I could go by my middle name. My middle name fits me perfectly. My middle name is George. Yeah. Look at me right now. Look at this perfect George standing in front of you. I'm the perfect George. George is the kind of person who eats chicken wings like a hostage trying to open a door handle with his mouth. That is how I eat chicken wings. <laughs> I'm named after my grandfather. My grandfather's name was George Carmel. My name is Ian George Carmel. He was George Carmel. But when my grandfather was born, his name wasn't George Carmel. When he was born, his name was Solomon Katz. <laughs> which is a very Jewish name. Even the most PC person isn't gonna pretend like that's not Jewish. Nobody's like, Solomon Katz, what, is that a Korean woman? Is that a, <laughs> is that a recent immigrant from Korea who is a woman? Like, no, it's very Jewish. Like, if your lawyer's name is Solomon Katz, the case never goes to trial. <laughs> <laughs>